Adrian Ballou is the epitome of cool. First, he dresses nice. Second, he's a nice guy and very witty. Third, he is one of the hottest guitar players in the world. His combination of technique, effects, and musical imagination makes for a most entertaining high-energy show. As Top Gun on the David Bowie Sound and Vision Tour, Adrian is burning a hole in Bowie's long catalog of great tunes. His performance at Denver's McNichols Arena was one of the most compelling rock performances I had ever seen. So, yo, Adrian. It's very exciting. It's the most exciting touring I've done. And, and, uh, and David is he's very loose, happy, generous, uh, easy to work with. He likes to joke around a lot. Uh, I think he's having a great time putting these songs to, to bed for the last time. The band is very relaxed, uh, congenial bunch of people, uh, most of whom are old friends of mine. Um, it's not a crazy tour. It's a tour where everybody just, uh, everyone's punctual. I can't believe it. No one's been late, not even for the least little thing. Uh, it's just uh, very uh, comfortable. And the performances are always pretty exciting, like, like what you saw last night. By the way, I thought the audience last night, fantastic, great. So we had some problems on stage, but it didn't seem to matter at all to the audience. I think we had the keyboards go out for something, go out for a drink perhaps, I don't know. And uh, we had some problems with the monitors. But it's so nice when it doesn't matter. <laughs> we still just played and sang. Two of the songs on my new album feature David Bowie, so if you want any new David Bowie this year, you've got to come to me. <laughs> so uh, one song is Pretty Pink Rose, the one you are mentioning last night. That's a song that David uh, gave me, one of his songs he had written and hadn't released yet. And uh, when we started to do this touring, we decided to do some new music together because it would make uh, more sense of uh, this collaboration. And so after David had heard some of the songs on the record, he, he uh, sent me Pretty Pink Rose. And he even uh, sent a little note along saying he thought it might be a hit song for us to do. So we uh, recorded the vocals. I made all the music myself. Um, and while we were recording the vocals for that one, we, we wrote another one <laughs> called Gunman. Uh, we even did a video for it. It's called... Uh, Oh, it's called Pretty Pink Rose, of course. It was done in uh, Edinburgh, Scotland, in a railway station, broken glass windows and lots of interesting lighting, with uh, Tim Pope, who is a uh, famous video director. He's done Neil Young. Um, he's most famous for The Cure. Mr. Music Head and Oh Daddy, the single, uh, did the best of anything I've ever done. Uh, it came at a great time for me. I changed over to Atlantic Records and things just seemed to start snapping into place. Uh, this record, I think, Young Lions by Adrian Ballou, is, uh, I think it's even better. It's, it's, whereas Mr. Music Head had one real candidate for uh, Radio Land. This one has probably four, maybe even five, uh, including an old King Crimson song called Heartbeat, mm -hmm. including a Traveling Wilburys song, which Roy Orbison sang, called uh, Not Alone Anymore, which I think will be the second single. Of course, Pretty Pink Rose. There's a, a nice ecology pop song called Men in Helicopters mm -hmm. that deals with uh, the killing of endangered species, one of my favorite subject matters. And uh, there's also another similar type ecology song called Looking for a UFO, uh, which deals with maybe someone from another planet will have to come down to <laughs> help us straighten out the mess that we're in. Uh, my favorite song, at this point, it changes all the time, involves a guy named the Prophet Omega, 
who was a, a radio evangelist who worked out of his apartment in Nashville. And I have no idea what the age of uh, his radio show might be, but Al Cooper, you remember Al Cooper from Blood, Sweat and Tears, sent me half an hour's worth of these radio tapes of the Prophet Omega, and uh, I fell in love with this guy's voice. I love the things he's saying, very contagious, charismatic. His basic message is, I am what I am. And that's the song title. So I had this uh, rather ferocious sounding guitar track. And I didn't quite know what to sing over it. Uh, so uh, one day I took time out to just take my favorite Prophet Omega sayings and put them into place in a musical way over top of this. And now we have, I am what I am. Friends seen and unseen. Well, I think it really comes down to people doing things, not governments. Uh, I'm rather apolitical to begin with because I, I don't know that the political system, there's so many influences it has. Uh, it sort of feeds itself in, in a different way. Well, I think people make the difference. People are, are the ones who need to get involved in it. I think it's very encouraging that people are starting to become aware of the uh, disasters that are happening in the tuna industry and in the rainforests and the timber industry and in the, the endangered species of our world. Uh, someone once said something to this effect. This is what I've always believed in, that we are really, uh, we're all just part of this planet. We're caretakers of it and we're just borrowing it for the next generation to pass it on to them. We'd like to leave it in as good or better shape as the way we found it. And being a father with children at home, it's, uh, it's particularly important to me that uh, they grow up in an environment that still has elephants and rhinos and whales and dolphins and trees. 